Hey, I'm so glad you called. I thought you were never going to talk to me again. Yeah, look, I just needed some time to figure things out, you know? Yeah, I mean, after you took off, I thought... You, I, I know, I know, Lizzie, but I'm, I'm here now. Yeah, look, I, um, I was kind of hoping that, you know, we would have talked um, things out before we announced that uh, there was a baby to our families, you know? I'm sorry, I was just so excited, and we have so much planning, and we can't do this all ourselves. Look, can we just take this one day at a time, please? Yeah. I know that everything is going to be okay as long as I have you. Lizzie, we're not together. Okay. I know that we're not together together. But we are going to have a baby, Coop. I mean, we need to be supportive of each other. That's what's best for us. That's what's best for the baby. I get that, Lizzie. Okay? I know. And I'm not going anywhere, okay? Not, not even Oxford. I'm putting it off. Sorry. Well, it is what's best for the baby now, isn't it? Yeah. That's not to say, though, that I won't have a life. <sighs> what exactly do you mean by a life? A life, Lizzie, a career, eventually a relationship. Ava. Yep, Ava. Well, I'm okay with that. As long as you're there for our little boy. You think we're going to be having a little boy? I was kind of hoping. <laughs> well, little girls are nice, too. <laughs> oh, am I going to find out today? Oh, no, that's not for a while yet. Uh, find out what? Oh, if it's a girl or a boy, I'm having a sonogram. Lizzie, you didn't tell me? I'm sorry, I didn't want to put pressure on you. It's okay. Look, I'll, um, I'll be there. What time is it? Two. You really don't have to. It's okay. Really. I will be there. Well, um, in that case, I'll have a little more time to do shopping. Oh, baby, you should see the crib that I found. Hey, you know something? I can help the two of you do your baby shopping, because, of course, there's so many things that you're going to need. Uh, like what? Well, a crib for one, a stroller, a car seat, a changing table, diapers, clothes. Hope you have your credit card paid up. <laughs> it is it you should see. I found the cutest bunting. Isn't that cute? <laughs> it is so cute. Remember that rocking horse that Dad had made for me in Arizona? Mm -hmm. The one that Mr. Huxby at the end of the street built. Yeah. yeah do we have it in the attic, maybe? Oh, honey, I think that got lost in the fire. But hey, we can have another one made. Isn't that right, Coop? Huh? But, uh, but we need to concentrate on the essentials first, right? No, you're going to need two of everything. Uh, two? Oh, we're not having twins. Don't worry. At least I don't think. <laughs> okay, okay. Then, then why do we need uh, uh, two of... Well, I mean, you have to have one of everything that I have, and vice versa. Hmm. Two car seats, two strollers, you, you name it. Oh. Oh, I didn't think about that. It's okay. I mean, we have plenty of time. Could you imagine if I did have twins? We have to need four. Four no, of everything. Don't laugh, <laughs> you know, that runs in the family. But hey, if you had twins, you two would handle it. It's just money, look, right? Look, okay, that's <laughs> right. Um, I'm not exactly Bill Gates here, okay? Coop, come on. I mean, I have. Look, I know, I know, Lizzie, I know what you have, okay? The point is that I want to help out here, too. I think that in this, we should share things equally, you know? Thanks, Coop. I will find a way to get the money. I don't want you to, you know, neglect your writing or not have time for yourself. I will figure something out. I'm sure that you will. You know, Coop, I got this for Alan, but I bet that you could use it. <laughs> wow, that's, that's great. Fatherhood for dummies. I bet you can learn a lot. Thanks. <laughs> really.